Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kaffan Encrypted and we're back with more workers and resources. And here you can see our buses decided to become one. One big bus. <laughs> there is a little uh, issue with our collision. So winter is over and we have a few things to do. So first of all, we need to put some water and shoots down here for the industry so let's just squeeze you right about here and you let's squeeze you come on work with me we can do this come on come on there you go so i pose the clothing building well i'll pose it once we have the last bit of concrete until we have fire coverage i don't want those buildings ready because if they catch fire they're gone. And that will be horrible. You brought all the coal here and you're here waiting to offload the remaining. Very good. This they can finish. Vehicle repair station I post. Warehouse I post. We have power here finally, but not everywhere. The bus stop is progressing. The fire station is progressing, but not just yet. About three more snow plows right here for the asphalt. One water, one sewage, since that's what we will use early on, and a small garbage truck. Which also reminds me, we need to enable this. And now our infrastructure CO is ready. Our large aggregate storage is ready as I started loading it, so I have three trucks with 25 ton seats unloading over here, and I'm going to start pulling from here. But we need the power. Without the power, we can load just slowly. And same with the open storage. I start loading it up with 10% steel, 20% prefab, 50% bricks, and 20% boards. And the reason behind those numbers is that's what I need for the constructions I have queued. So if we look at, for example, the large residential buildings, besides concrete, gravel, and asphalt, they need 60 tons of bricks, 30 tons of boards almost, and 13 tons of steel. So we are very heavy on bricks. Prefab, we need a lot for pipes. So how are we going with this wire? Uh, how deep are you? Wow. Yeah, so I think this is going, like, incredibly deep. That's why it's, like, 13,000 days. I will let them finish it. Will take forever, but that's okay. And we will sort the traffic. So let me start moving some vehicles up to the other CO. First, we need to give it fuel. So you go there, you give fuel to this. Now, you definitely need some open hull so you can move things. Let's think for a moment. I do not want you operating on roads or footpaths, but I want you to build everything else. Okay. So let me just pin you over here so I can see you. I definitely want the cover hull. I cannot do that, can I? Okay. So, take me there. Definitely need the cover hull. I definitely need all four of those. Actually, I need everything from here. I need those excavators as well. Might be a little too many, but we will use them for industry later. Uh, from the stuff I have here... Excavator and bulldozer... I need this small stuff. Okay, so let's move you and I'll shift some things between the construction offices. Like, I want to take this big bus and move it here, and I want to keep the small ones on this one. That should work better. Ah, uh, you have the mixers and the cranes. You are definitely moving all of them over here. I'll probably buy a couple more mixers. Actually, let me do that now. 
because I know I need a lot of mixers. Give me two more. You have a little bit of space, so take. Are any of you empty? You are empty. Go there. And you... You are also empty. You go there. I want to utilize just the small ones, because seven workers are plenty for the road connections. And those road cranes are extremely handy. You get the most value for your workers. Because it amplifies their working speed. Let's move that up there as well. Okay. So wait, are you full? You cannot be full. No, you're not. Okay. Any other used items to buy? I do need one more refrigerator. I do need one more covered hull. I don't want any of the small ones. I don't think I need another big dumper. If anything, now I need the fast ones. So I will pass on that. And 44% wear and tear is kind of high. Okay, so you're empty, you're empty. You have four dumpers. All of you gonna move. Not enough space. Ha. Huh. Well then. Move them up here. I need them closer. You have a lot of the big dumpers and an open hull. And you have four buses. You will keep going with the buses for now. Where are you taking the steel? Ah, here. Okay, and the traffic here is improving. That's good. So, get gravel from here and get regular stuff from here. Uh, for the rest, you have to go to the border. I'm gonna adjust you and say you go get gravel from there you won't be able to get it because it has no power right or will you no, I think you will get it just slow let's have a look no you won't get it because you have no power okay so until we have power Connect that there. Actually, no, do not connect that there. No, take that away. That's bad. That's very bad. Okay, gravel from here. And you guys gravel from here. For now. Oh, this is ready. Okay, you do not need any hazardous waste. Everything will be mixed waste for you, which is fine. And you need the big truck to collect it. That's not a problem. It's because it's under the mountain. That's why this is... Do I want to utilize workers on this? Because where this is, I need the power. Instead, what I can do, you are to be connected here, but you're nowhere near ready. So, I can throw a switch over here until the other one is ready. So a medium voltage switch. Let me connect it. Let's say here.
Let's cut this one off, cut this one off. You go right there. Cut that one off, cut that one off. Cut that one off. You can go around that spot. And from here, I can go and say... Um, yeah, I'll make a second one. Go right about here. You go right about here. And... There you go. So adjust this into a high priority. Deconstruct this. Regular footpath. High priority. Okay, so let's get this going. And this is a high priority. Just so we can start tapping on what we actually build. Uh, I want the priority to be from this side. So two will need a priority. One will need to yield way. There you go. Because things will be coming out. Nothing will be coming down from this road for a very, very long time. Yeah, so those are loading. They're loading slow-ish. But not horribly slow. Fire station is ready. Let's get two of the small vehicles. They should be adequate. I need to give those some fuel, so bring some fuel here. Oh, and I also set up my distribution office over here to load food, clothes, meat, and electronics and bring them to my warehouse and top this up. So this is nice and full. Keep in mind, if you don't have power, you will the resources in here will slowly start to decay, especially meat and food. Okay, this is progressing nicely. Yeah, we're probably looking for at least one more year before this is at a usable state. Why do I have an excavator here? I don't need an excavator here. Is there anything I want to move away from here? Not really. Eh, it can stay like that. It's fine. Also, I bought a couple more excavators because there is a lot of digging to be done, a lot of groundworks. Yeah, I really need to offload the traffic, especially for gravel. You need asphalt for the roads. If only the custom house was a bit faster. But that's a bit of wishful thinking from my part. We can start planning... Well, I have an excavator, so... I can start planning the suets. So let's go over here and lower the terrain a bit. So... We need this to become a very sharp drop. Something like that. And then we want the suit 
towards the start. Turn you around and you go right, right here. Is it close enough to be a problem with pollution? I don't think so. But what would it cost me? A lot. A lot, a lot. Okay, so. If we give them a big pipe. And say, you with a depth of two. Connect probably on the middle so I can bring things from the bottom left and from the right. Okay. It will cost, but not too much. To give me a direct outlet for these. And then we will also need to plan water. Where will I plan water? I can use the elevation on this to avoid using pumps. I'll need it in some sort of proximity. How expensive is this? Not very, and you can hold 300. So you produce twice as much, you have garbage, but you need twice as much power, and you need people. Maximum daily production, 70. So 70 is one medium pipe. One medium pipe and, yeah, and a little bit of a second pipe. So if I want to have this, I will need three of these. That's why it's cheaper to get the big water well with the people going. Do you produce any pollution? You do not. So you can literally go in here. And the water treatment plant, the big one, doesn't have any pollution either. It only creates waste, which is fine. We can deal with that. So if I say you go right here. Workers can reach you. Where is my... It's to the right. Yeah, I can reach that. You won't have garbage coverage over here, but that should be relatively easy to take care of. Okay, so let's go here. Let's give you a big water outlet, but you need a pump. So, big water pump. Can I squeeze this anywhere around here? I guess we can go this way. Let's do this side. And from here... I'm very tempted to move this. And you know what? I will. There is no need to actually keep this in a visually appealing location, but that's just me. And you cover everything, right? Yeah. So let's place you right here. Yep, you can go there and it's a shorter pipe. Wait, didn't they say it produces waste? Oh no, that's how much it eliminates. Okay. So that will take care of the water whenever we get to that. So you become a low priority because you're super expensive. Uh, is it worth bringing? Yes, let's do the first phase just to get it out of the way. It won't cost much. So that's that, but I need to also bring water from a big water well, and that will need people. I could squeeze it in there, but I don't think it's worth it. 
maybe that will be too far for people. If I go here, I'll be taking away space that I can use for more buildings. What if we go... I mean, I can always do it with a bus. If I really need to. But let's say... So I have a road on this side, so I can leverage that. So early on, one is plenty. So you go there and you give me two big pumps. No, nope, well done. Take you away. Pick the big water pumping station here. Take one and two pipes because you produce a little over one pipe. You can be on this side, right about here, I think. And I should be able to do whoop, this and this. Okay, that takes care of that as well. Ideally, I don't want to use the outer one. I want to use this one. So I still have that if I make a new one. Okay. Then, let's go with a mud road for now. And you just need a footpath, so you can go here, you can go right about... Doesn't matter. The footpath here doesn't matter. And can any workers reach you? Actually, some can, yes. That's fine. I don't even need to bring a bus there. But for waste, I need you... Is, are you the only building that produces waste? Yes, you are. So, uh, no, a little garbage truck should be able to handle you. You don't produce that much. How are we going here? The cable is ready. They are building this now. The switch is getting there. And that should deal with this disaster. Okay, you're getting the electronic components. You're trying to bring bricks. Go back. Make some space. Make some space. Uh, yep. The voltage one and the switch. Yep. They're building the shopping area. Okay. What else do we need to plan? How is this going? So you need a little bit of concrete and then we go into phase two. I still haven't designated an area for garbage. Not for hazardous, at least. I have the other stuff here, but not hazardous. So, I will probably use one of the three ones for that. It will be really slow to pick up, but I don't think it matters very early on. Yeah, because this is very expensive. 430 tons. So, we'll use the free one. And... I don't want it to be too close because it will create pollution. So let's say for now you go there. And you only collect hazardous waste. Everything else I can export besides mixed. Mixed I can burn off and get rid of it. Why is there a micro bus on this? I want the micro bus here. Go away. Not over here. Let's make that tiny adjustment. 
Also, none of those are dealing with any buildings. Is it because they are all on low priority? No, you're on groundworks. Okay, so it's a situation where we need more excavators. Go there. Go help. Because all of them have groundworks currently. Yeah. But they are doing good with the footpaths. So I'm happy about that. You bring a bunch of... Okay, you are too big of a bus. Go right there. I need to move you on this side. And I need to hijack something from here. And always move this dumper. It's one of the big ones, so it's great for uh, asphalt construction. Whenever it gets to where it needs to get. But you also use this for building. So you do need a couple big ones. That's okay, stay there for now. Uh, deliver mechanisms. Actually, no, do not, because I won't always have those free. Because if they are free, they're going to use it anyway. So that is okay. Also, how did you escape me and you didn't become asphalt? And I should probably prioritize a house. In case I get a fire, I can just hire some people immediately, put them on the fire station just to save myself from the fire. Also, how far do you cover? Ooh, you cover you cover everything. That's really, really good. I'm very, very, very happy about that. Okay, while you're doing your thing, we need to further expand this. So now, soon we will have workers, and with workers, I will need, I'll be able to make my own asphalt. You need gravel and bitumen. I have the gravel plant here. I should have put it. Hmm. How much do you use? You use 125, so you use a lot. I guess I can give you your own little storage for that. So, let's say you go right there. Do you have anything else that needs gravel? Cement plant is huge. I'm not in a, in a place to deal with that. But... If I'm going to make concrete as well, but you make pollution. Why do you make pollution? You make pollution too. Okay, you guys are not going there then. Even the quarry produces pollution. I did not know that. That is news to me. Is there anything else I can do here? Ooh, you produce even more pollution. Well, that is concerning. Also, you need a little bit of concrete. Okay, yeah. This will be ready in five years. <laughs> you want people for the shopping center? Yes. You want people for a little footpath? Go away. You want people for the shopping center? Is the power ready here? Nope. They're prioritizing the shopping center because I have it as high. But it's on groundworks. Go back on medium. Where are the rest of my excavators? You need a little bit of concrete. Then I have more excavators than that. One, two, three. 
Yeah, it's all about excavators at the moment. And you have two of them. Okay, let's take the two away. And let's use them elsewhere. I should probably get a few more excavators on this. I don't have any down here, do I? No. Any used excavators for me? None. Yeah, let's buy four excavators. Overkill? Maybe. Oh, you have dumpers. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They won't finish this. Okay. Let's use this one. And give me four excavators. And do not use them on roads or footpaths. That's not where they're meant to go. I'll upgrade this in the end, because it's gonna bug me. Stack on 10 days, you still have one of them here. Okay, this is going better. This will move out of groundworks momentarily. And you still need people. You're trying to build the shirts thing. Let's stop that. That's too much for now. You're gonna bring the gravel and the asphalt, that's all it is, and the rest are just tiny little segments. That's okay. Ten days for you. You want people for the substation? No. No. Medium voltage switch, yes. And we're down to 400,000. Still decent. Medium voltage? Unfinished medium voltage. Oh, that's the what? Oh, no. Don't take people there. No, go away. On the streets, yes. You want to bring people to the road? No. Need a little bit of micromanagement. You go for the streets. Why are those guys here? So you're part of Construction Office 4. That's why. Oh, this is ready. Good. So now it's just a matter of finishing this up. And with a crane that will be done now. Good. Now we go here. So you guys clear everything. You get your stuff from here. You get your stuff from here. And you get everything else from the border. And we copy this to here, 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 and here. You guys are getting your gravel from... Let's use the other side so we don't fill it up immediately. 
and you have four dumpers, move them here. I want them working for this. And that should help with the gravel situation. Yeah, see, now it loads significantly faster. Excellent. What to plan next? We really need people before we can do a lot more. But I could start with some fields. But they need... Fields have a lot of volume. So I would need trains. Let's extend this more. Yeah, let's play with trains for a bit. So let's give you this and this. I'll probably have a refinery down here. So, where are you? You are... This. Turn this around. Oh, this way. So, something like that. You go in here, you go in here, remove the two nodes, and then I want to bypass right next to you. Let's make it a bit longer, so we can accommodate bigger trains. And you go right there. Very good. There will be no pass through from this, but let's connect you. Let's give you 170 on 60. Because our trains will be about 150 maximum. So let's give it that, so it can go ahead and do this. And also, I need to buy a disassembled AGMU. And I will need an open hull. Is there a used one? There is one, but it cannot carry it. What do I have here waiting? So let's move those to the row depot. Mm -hmm. You're bringing stuff. No, go away. Uh, you're part of the distribution office. Yep, you're fine. So are you. So are you. Okay. This is now improving. The main problem is all those buses because we can definitely cannot accommodate like 10 buses the hospital will push its garbage here so let's give you four for hazardous waste so you can collect it You still need concrete. Why? Where is my concrete mixer? Are you the one? You're trying to do the plumbing. Ah, yeah. So, pose this. Pose this. Pose. I don't need this immediately. Uh, you can stay. And those two over there can stay. Let's make sure we don't have a get citizens. Okay, good.
346 tons of concrete. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna take a while. Okay, so that will be our main export. Let's continue sending our row down here. And I'm going to copy the roundabout. And I do want to set up one on this line. So from there, let's say somewhere around here and you go right there you connect on this spot and you do this let's bring the other two down Okay. And then I can either have a branch going here, or I can connect the highway to this. So if I'm to connect the highway here, let's say I bring you a bit closer, and then go this way. That's probably the closest I can do, and then go this way. So that takes care of that, and from here we can go straight. Where do I have gravel the closest? So I know there is some down there where I just built a roundabout. Is there any other gravel? Ooh, we have gravel here, and we have a lot of gravel here. If we were to plan a gravel industry, since it doesn't require any research, we need the gravel quarries, which are cheap, and we can operate them with machinery. And then we need a little bit of people to convert it into gravel. You produce a bit of pollution, 12%, 12 tons, not percent. So, from here, To here. Okay, wait, clear all of this. From this point to this point, it's about about a kilometer. It's far enough, and it will be a little bit of pollution. So let's plan. Do we have any really good spots? Okay, and the elevation is pretty decent here. So let's get this 85. And this 88. And this 96. This is only getting better. How much do you produce? You produce maximum... That's per worker, so about 120 quarried stones. So this will be 400, and you can produce 82. So it must be like four quarries to one of these. So let's do one more quarry here. Let's get that 81%. We will need an aggregate storage. This will be the buffer aggregate storage, so it doesn't need to be insanely big. So you can go here.
use a truck unloader to make life easier. So go really close. Then you can connect with this. You can connect here. You can continue. You can go this way. You can go. You can go this way. Clear this. Then let's say you go this way. You connect on this. And then back to the gravel. So this will feed directly here. So we don't have that situation, right? You, because you need the quarried stone, which they will drop there, and this will feed directly. I don't need the conveyor belt, the workers will pull it at a faster speed anyway. Yes. Let's do that. Let's go this way. Let's bring you this way. And that should take care of that. And we need to connect it with our road. So I will extend this road up to here. I will make this go this way. So we have that initial connection. You will definitely need power, water, and suets and garbage because, you know, you need it all. So suets goes here. Water goes here. Garbage regular should be plenty because that's just for the workers. I'm probably get away with even a small one, but small one will be. S no, let's go with a big one. Okay, so that's done. Oh, and the gravel that's produced from here will need to be stored into a big storage that I can pull from. So, I need the large aggregate storage. Again, I need the really large aggregate storage. 2,000, 5,000 tons. How big are you? Ah, uh, yeah, okay, you're big. What about the 2,000 one? You are better, and... You can have so many inputs and outputs. This is an interesting one. Kind of want to place it in the middle. So somewhere here. And then I want to bring this this way. Connect this here as a triangle. Make a secondary path over here. And then... Where are my aggregate stuff? I do want... Because I can have multiple loaders and unloaders, but I want a loader. So ideally, I could have multiple loaders here as needed. Or I could connect other industries here. Ha! Huh. Let's use this spot for a loader. With a little bit of a queue line. Then, for the concrete plant, because we need the gravel and the cement. And for the cement, we need gravel and coal as well. But we're getting into a lot of pollution. Yeah, that's a bit too close, I think. And 
and you need 30 people, which we won't be able to spare any time soon. But I can buy the cement, because you can store the cement, right? There is a cement silo. So I'll just need the gravel and water. Okay, so if I just need gravel... ...for my trucks to go do their thing... Uh, you can be right here when you run. I'll bring you water from any source. And you will need people, which I can bring. It's five people. I can have a mini bus going there, or I can make an actual um, connection. We'll see which one works best. So let's put you here, and let's get a silo. Which one are you under? Dry? Yeah. So, this one is the smallest, right? No, this is the smallest. You cost a lot of concrete. You're fancy, but you cost a lot of concrete. And so do you. Uh, so, this is cheaper. Okay, we're going with this one. Do we need both connections? Because it's a dry good, so it should go through the dry connection, not the factory connection. But I guess it's best... Uh, we have a bunch of in and outs. Oh, give me the proper one. The classic. Um... And the classic will not cooperate very well. Okay, so you can go here. Let's branch this off. Let's send you here. And let's send you here. As for power, I can get all of them somewhere here. Yes. Okay, so we got the power as well. Let's see what's happening over here. Cool. First house is ready. Good. Hospital is getting there. How's this going? Another 9,000 days. Uh, traffic here is not too horrible. What's the power usage here? 076 and the potential is 168. That's okay, give us a little bit more of load balancing. You are fine at 30%. I have them to take you up to 50, that's okay. So what is preventing us? Well, I'm not building you yet. A lot of groundworks going on, that's okay. A lot of concrete and a lot of the other goods. So you're fine. You guys are not doing anything. Because there is a need for steel over there. I think I need to do one more distribution office. Temporary one. I'll just give you a mud road for now because I don't need gravel. I am going to copy the tasks of this open house. Copy here. And I'm going to buy three open house because I don't think I have any that I can pull from here. No. So you guys have the same speed, different capacity. No. Four of the standard, please. So that should speed up things a little bit. Okay, and this is going pretty good. Probably another couple episodes before people, I think. 
so we did set up a basic idea of how we want the gravel area to look. We should give it a gas station for sure. They give it a free one or a real one? Probably a real one due to how many vehicles will be here. Um... Let's place you... Actually, give me the right through one. Yeah. So they enter from that spot and they exit from down here. We'll make them make a little loop, but that's okay. And from here, we want a priority. Whoever is going... Whoever is coming out from here and whoever is going to the right. Yes. But I cannot have that because... No gravel road. So, you will become gravel road, you will become gravel road. This doesn't need to become gravel road because the vehicles that I'll use here will only go by 35 anyway. Uh, you, I'm going to bring people to work, so I do need gravel road here. Uh, make this little junction gravel. And this one. All of this will need to be gravel. So they're going to be busy for a little while. Let's copy the roundabout one more time. And I do want it on a straight line with this straight-ish. So let's say somewhere around here. So you can go this way. Get rid of that node, get rid of this node. And I want this road to get down here. So go this way, turn around, and go here. One lane is fine, I don't need the second one for now. I'll probably have a second one later and then sort of branch it to this side if needed. Now, all of you, I do not want to build... I definitely don't want this to be built, so stop this and this. Stop this one. Stop... Uh, I'll do not stop the big storage. Actually, yeah. We don't have money, so stop, stop. Just do the road for now. Stop the processing plan until we have people. But you can build this, so I can move the vehicles on that side and build the fuel station. Okay. Not many footpaths left by the looks of it, so this must be the last ones. We'll probably need to put some trees to beautify it a little bit, but not just yet. We'll probably will plop down a few more things before it's time for that. Where are you taking people? What are you building? Oh, I paused everything but that pipe. Okay. How's the... You guys are busy. Why? Distribution office. Okay. A lot of concrete. Yes. Footpaths, roads, you bring asphalt. Okay. Which means we're not at the place to upgrade this into asphalt because we need the custom house to acquire. Them. Let's do one last thing. So let's get the gravel square. 
and say I want to select this area uh, why do you do it this way again Unfortunately, mud roads look horrible on gravel. So let's connect you to right here to give it a little bit of a texture. And I can do... Actually, is this better? This looks a bit more industrial, doesn't it? Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, I like that one better. It's a lot more industrial. So, remove this. Remove this. And let's go with the airplane square. From here to here. Yeah, guys, upgrade this tiny little thing. Before it becomes obnoxious. Okay. That is looking a little bit more official. And because I really like grids, I know they're horrible, but what can you do? So it's a little curve. Ah, this is actually progressing. Interesting. Why do you need shopping center? You need everything. And we are down to 280,000. We spend a lot of money on workers. 4,000, 5,000 a month. Oh, this is close to be complete. I don't think this wave will finish it unless they bring a couple more people. Turn this into a high priority, bring people just so you can finish it. This one will need a lot of concrete and everything else. Yeah, you're still on groundworks. Because if we finish the shopping center, we finish the hospital. Then we should be able to start bringing people. They won't have kindergartens or anything else, so they will kind of complain. But it will help us build things a lot faster if everything we need is just workers. But it's gonna get cold, so we will need to wait until next summer before we bring them in. Because if we bring them in and we don't have enough people to just take them down here to produce heat, they will all freeze to death. So... The plan for now is we're going to wrap this episode here. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. And I will catch you all on the next one. Bye bye.